The Wankel engine makes a comeback at Mazda. It's a fact, the Wankel engine is making a comeback at Mazda. But before we talk about its rebirth, how about a brief description? To begin with, the Wankel engine is a rotary piston engine that describes a four-stroke cycle. Inside the engine, a triangular-shaped piston converts the energy produced by fuel combustion into mechanical energy. It is then transformed into mechanical rotational energy. This energy is transmitted to the crankshaft. Do you really know what a crankshaft is? Don't panic, the ATEC team is here to help you. Back to the point. A crankshaft is a mechanical device that transforms the rectilinear motion of a piston into a continuous rotary motion. This is achieved by means of a connecting rod. This movement can also take place in the opposite direction. It's true that the Wankel engine is often referred to as a rotary engine, but what makes it different? It's based on the vane pump principle. It dates back to the second half of the 16th century. It wasn't until the 1950s that German engineer Felix Wankel developed the motor as we know it today. As it does not use the principle of the connecting rod crank system, it does not generate reciprocating motion. As a result, transformations of motion, friction, vibrations, and noise are greatly reduced. As a result, we're talking about a particularly advantageous technical solution. In fact, it's being used in a wide range of transport applications. To find out a little more, let's take a look at the real history of the Wankel engine. Do you really know everything? In any case, there's a lot to learn in the rest of this video, which is exactly why we advise you to stay with us. To put it simply, a rotary piston engine has a triangular shaped piston that turns on itself and creates power. However, the ceiling problem of the Wankel model is well known to specialists. It's what has deterred many of the industry's best known tycoon. How about another look at the vane pump principle? What is it really? Invented by Agostino Ramelli, it's still in use today. This pump has a rotor filled with sliding vanes. This is what transfers the liquid being pumped. Sounds familiar? Of course it does. In 1936, Graf Pappenheim developed the gear pump for collecting water from fountains. In the end, it's exactly the same principle as the oil pump. You'll find it in your car's engine if you take a look. In 1901, an American invented and patented a rotary piston steam engine. In 1908, an Englishman built an internal combustion engine based on the same idea. Unfortunately, a piston movement and ceiling were already problematic at the time. Subsequently, testing continued in France. In the 1930s, Frenchman Dimitri Sensot de Lavaux developed a new engine. It was adapted to two- and four-stroke combustion. The Citroën and Renault automakers, along with the French Air Ministry, decided to finance the construction. Like the Wankel engine, its piston is triangular in shape and suffers from ceiling problems. What do you think is the solution to this complication? It would seem that the key to the problem lies in Germany. Indeed, it was in Germany that Felix Wankel began sketching his engine. The year was 1924. Subsequently, thanks to subsidies from Luftwaffe and Kriegsmarine of the Third Reich, he spent a lot of time working on the notion of water tightness. Starting in 1951, he quickly made contact with various car manufacturers. He signed a contract with the NSU, he used his system as a compressor on their motorcycles. In 1963, a 500cm3 engine was installed on an NSU Spider. This was the first vehicle with a Wankel engine to be marketed. A total of 2,275 were sold. But why is Wankel still associated with Mazda? Do you have any idea what that means? The answer is quite simple. Mazda was the first manufacturer to license the Wankel engine. Citroën, Mercedes, and many other car makers were also interested in this innovative technology. But it was when Rolls-Royce showed an interest in the thing in 1965 that glory came. However, Mazda is the only manufacturer to have maintained series production. It even offers car models equipped with the Wankel engine. Today, the most famous is the Mazda RX-8. Some of these cars, then equipped with a 700 horsepower Wankel quadrotor, even won an edition of the 24 Hours Le Mans. But success was short lived. Faced with the increasing power of the Wankel engine, other manufacturers were quick to call for a ban on this form of motorization. It's true that this engine arrived on the market at the most complicated of times. In 1973, the first oil crisis hit the world hard, causing complications at every level. What's more, despite its appeal, the concept fails to stand up to conventional engines. Its excessive fuel consumption also hindered its development. But Citroën's design department didn't give up just yet. 
It continued to work on the rotary piston engine until the early 1980s. When Peugeot bought Citroën, this research, which was far too costly, was definitively abandoned. Since 2012, Mazda has also decided to cease production of the Wankel engine. Since the retirement of the Mazda RX-8, the Wankel engine has completely disappeared from the radar. Is it really possible that it's back? Well, as you can see, it is. Mazda has announced the return of the Wankel engine. But under what conditions? Let's find out. For some time now, Mazda has been working on a highly innovative electric coup. It goes from an electric model to a rechargeable hybrid. A huge step forward for the original MX-30. The year 2023 seems to be right for the automaker. 12 years on, it has decided to resurrect the rotary piston engine. Nevertheless, the Japanese automaker remains in step with the ecological transition that is constantly driving the automotive industry forward. From now on, the role of the traditional Wankel engine is quite different. It now acts as a range extender, as part of a plug-in hybrid powertrain. In terms of compactness and lightness, this technology is the best choice. Placed under the front hood, the rotary block is co-located with the generator and electric motor. It delivers 74 horsepower at 47,000 RPM. The electric motor is rated at 125 kilowatts, or around 170 horsepower. It would appear that the rotary engine simply turns the generator, while the wheels are driven by the electric motor. According to the brand's engineers, high oil consumption is no longer a problem. Do you really believe in the current power of this engine? Indeed, this incredible change around the Wankel motor has enabled the MX-30 to significantly increase its range capacity. In all electric mode, it had a range of 160 kilometers. This figure was considered ridiculous by potential buyers and rival car makers. The Wankel engine is a true technological gem. The rotary piston combustion engine acts as a useful complement. Admittedly, it's not the most efficient in terms of fuel consumption, but it does have other significant advantages. What's more, it's much easier to integrate into today's vehicles. And yet, it's only a secondary engine. At the end of the day, have you understood Mazda's main objective? It's quite simple. Mazda no longer believes in the power of large batteries for electric cars. They would no longer be suitable for today's models. In fact, the European Union has decreed that all cars must be electric by 2035. This is nothing new. It is essential to reduce CO2 emissions by 100%. According to Mazda, large batteries have a counterproductive effect in this area. It's true that their manufacture poses a problem, as they require much more lithium. As we keep mentioning on the channel, this material is highly controversial and increasingly expensive. The economy extender may therefore be the ideal proposition. What's your opinion on the subject? Will this new version of the Wankel engine have the desired effect? Has Mazda really bet on the right horse? What does the future hold for the automotive industry? Don't hesitate to give us your opinion by leaving us a comment below. We look forward to hearing from you. See you soon on ATEC.